Welcome back to News Across Nigeria. The Nigerian Army, now to the Nigerian Navy, but also providing adequate security for citizens is the top priority of every state government, and one who is determined to ensure that is the River State Governor, Yesom Wike. Governor Wike says his administration is determined to end kidnapping, cultism, and other vices and ensure that insecurity becomes a thing of the past. He was speaking on our breakfast program, Sunrise Daily. The issue of security here, on one hand, is not political. I have told you there are court wars which we are fighting to stop. And that there's a political dimension that has come in by making sure you don't solve this problem by destabilizing the system working, removing the commission of the police at all times. The federal government should support me by making sure that they leave the security heads to stay for quite a time and plan the security strategies to eliminate criminality in the state. It will not be business as usual any longer. We have fast laws to say, look, if you catch a kidnapper, we are not only going to make sure he's prosecuted, all the process in terms of housing and funding is about to be all before the world all take you, the, the property away. That in a way you are, you are, disc uh, you are discouraging them. Two, go all out against the courts. Go all out against the courts. And that is why they can tell you, I don't know the state that will say that giving support to security agencies that river state. I challenge any state. And they are here, they can attest to it. The Nigerian Navy and their colleagues from three other continents have concluded a one-week multinational maritime exercise codenamed Operation Obangame Express. The exercise, according to the Nigerian Navy, is meant to improve security in the Gulf of Guinea and enhance cooperation between the Navy across African nations and beyond. Channels Television monitored the exercise. Since 2009, this yearly multinational maritime exercise seeks to build relationships between navies of most African nations and those of the U.S., France, and other EU participating nations. On board this vessel for this year's Obangame exercise are navies from different countries in the Gulf of Guinea, all out to ensure the safety in its waters. The crew reenacts a series of exercises on the Awunde Code of Conduct, a non-binding international agreement that lays down the standards which participating countries should follow. Thirty-two different nations and international organizations from four continents participated in the visit, search, arrest, rescue, seizure, maintenance, security, and surveillance exercises, including the tactical measures in reclaiming hijacked ships from pirates. U.S. Africa Deputy Commander for Regional Operations, Vice Admiral Michael Franken, and the Flag Officer Commanding Eastern Naval Command, Rear Admiral Atiku Abubakar, speak on the exercise. There can be no rogue activity at sea. And therefore, we are. Uh, we want to encourage that uh, the Gulf of Guinea nations, and we've seen this in the past, a continuous improvement process as the Gulf of Guinea nations and the various ministries within each country share uh, the the best practices and the the ne necessary uh, tenants for good commerce between themselves. So the United States is only here as an international partner. We're developing our capacities, and uh, it has come out very clearly during the uh, exercise. Uh, aside from that, it affords us to see how our equipments can operate, how we can, how equipments from other countries with Nigeria can operate together and be effective in the provision of maritime uh, security. For the men of the Nigerian Navy, more can still be achieved if more vessels are deployed. For now, we have bought a house boots in order to ensure that we have our men at two points in the Niger Delta. So there's always a, we can easily react to any issue of a piracy or kidnapping within the creeks. 
During the week-long exercise, three Nigerian chiefs, NNS Centenary, NNS of Pabana, and NNS Prosperity, and an helicopter participated. To the southwest now, and as the rainy season sets in, road construction at Uluyole Industrial Area in Oyo State is being accelerated to prevent flooding-related issues. The Permanent Secretary, Minister of Works and Transport, Mr. Oyeshola Oyedele, says when completed, it will save the industries in the area and also increase productivity of the company. Industry needs to thrive. Fixing that road serves to our purpose. If industry tries, they will pay their taxes to government, they will pay so many levies to government. The revenue coming to the government as in form of IGR will increase. That revenue itself, in turn, will be used to develop other roads. Government is not mindful of roads that needs fixing. The road is 5.8 kilometers in length. The width is 10 centimeters, but it adds the walkway, the drains, then it's going to have street lights along the road. So put together, the width of the road is about 15 meters. Anybody that lives around that corridor will know that that particular bridge, whenever it rains, is always an accruing tax for the rest of the to get back to their home or to get out. And that's where we'll draw the curtains for this edition of News Across Nigeria, where we show and tell you what's happening across the 36 states of the Nigerian Federation and maybe in your neck of the woods. I'm Alumide Macaulay. See you again.